Hey, welcome back to another video. In this uh, C Sharp tutorial, we're going to actually activate these uh, button clicks. So right now it's kind of a stupid uh, click method. All it does is tell you a message. But what we want to do now is start implementing this flood fill idea. That's the whole point of this exercise, is to show you what flood fill will do and how it's programmed. So let's come into our code again, and let's come down to the area where we have the button click and we're going to start coding there. So the first thing I want to do is figure out which button actually sent a command to this method. Remember, all of the buttons are tied to the same control or the same uh, method for click. So the, uh, the key here is the parameter called sender. And sender is a generic object and it tells us here that we cannot definitely tell you what kind of thing was sent or sent this message. So we're going to have to do a cast. So the cast says, I guarantee you that the thing that clicked you is, is, a, is a button, which is actually a class of my button. So the only items on the form that are associated with this uh, method click are my buttons. Now there are only two simple commands that we're going to add to this function. Uh, one of them is very simple. We're just going to capture what the original color is. So if the button was black when we clicked it, uh, original color will be holding the, the value black. The next line, though, is going to be the magic of the program. So it's called flood fill. The flood fill algorithm will take two parameters. It will take the current row and the current column. So since we need to define the flood fill uh, method, let's do it right below the uh, click option. So it's going to have no return value, so we'll call it a void type, and it will take the two parameters R and C. So the first thing we need to do in flood fill is what you might call the, the base case. So we are going to set the back color of our button that was just clicked to the current color. So what is current color? So current color needs to be set based on this uh, design here of the, uh, the eight buttons here. So we need to create a current color option for these eight buttons. So let's go into the design here. I'm going to select the, any one of these buttons. Let's try the red button. And let's come down into the actions area. So here's a click. So I want to create a method that all of these will share. So let's call this thing color button uh, click. How about? And press enter. Automatically, color button click has been created inside of my code. So now it has the same uh, format as the, uh, as the grid button click. Where we have a sender. So once more I want to uh, capture which button sent the click and so we will uh, we will save it as type button. Now this is not the special button this is just called the uh, generic class for button. So the next thing I'm going to save is what's called the current color. So the current color is what's currently been chosen from the palette and we'll just take whatever back color was uh, on that button. So now this, this will work for all of the buttons, but we have to, uh, we have to assign this uh, handler for all of these guys. So I'm gonna select all of the buttons here and then come over to the click option. And this time I just choose the drop down and I pick the color button click choice. So now they will all be handling with the same uh, method. Okay, so now current color makes sense. Let's go back down into our flood fill. So flood fill says, we're going to take the uh, background color of what was uh, just clicked, one of the grid buttons, and we will change it to the current color, so whatever, whatever was selected from our menu. Let's see how that works. So let's say I select uh, orange for my current color. And now whenever I click over on any of these buttons, the current color is orange. Let's try a red selection, and you can see that red is now the current color. So it just occurred to me now that it would be nice to be able to display what the current selected color is. So let's come back into the design here. I'm going to add something quickly. Uh, let's do a picture box and uh, let's, I don't know, make it about the width of the panel here. And that's called uh, picture box one. So let's go into our form controls. Whenever we do a button color click, let's change the background of that picture. So we'll say picture box one dot back color equals the current color. And so now when we select a color here, you can see the current selected color is clearly marked below. And so now when you start 
selecting, it's, it's pretty obvious of which color is supposed to be on the screen. All right, so next we're going to move on and create this as a flood fill. It's going to take some extra coding, so maybe this is a good pausing point. We'll come back here and make this work like it's supposed to.